do do you, do people need to sacrifice returns to invest in a socially responsible way? Absolutely not. And there's um, uh, there's no evidence uh, behind um, behind the uh, the assertion from many in my industry that that that, that there is a cost to to to, to being responsible. Um, it's a bad rumor that's been around for a long time, probably propagated by 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 fund managers and parts of the financial services industry that you know haven't believed in the values that we're that, that we're re reflecting. Um, the uh, I guess there's sufficient data now, particularly in the U.S. market, um, to demonstrate that there's certainly no cost to investing in a responsible um, way. Um, there. Uh, I'm yet to see a huge amount of hard evidence that um, shows um, that there's a, 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 a definite large premium to be earned from uh, investing in a responsible way. And the reason that uh, that is the case is that there's it's just a very, very difficult exercise to get a, a level of statistical conf uh, confidence around the statement that um, the pure um, environmental, social, and, and good governance factors are responsible for the good performance. I can, I yeah. can find plenty. Of, I can find plenty of academic evidence for for, for cause and effect. Uh, it's like uh, anecdotal evidence, um, but it's it's difficult to prove um, uh, prove with numbers. And and there's a bunch of other factors at play as well. And I think this is a very pertinent example. Um, if you look under the hood of, of many sustainable equities products at the moment, you'll find that there's typically quite a lot of exposure to technology within those portfolios. Well, you know, if you can't invest in 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 in, in coal and, and and alcohol and these other things, you've got to invest the money somewhere. And obviously technology's been a good place. It's, been performing very strongly globally for for a long time now um, and at a quite simplistic level a lot of tech companies tend to look quite good through the lenses of the environment and social uh, um, at least um, you know, tech companies tend not to be um, digging stuff out the ground or, or, or um, directly emitting a lot of carbon um, they tend to um, all you know, claim um, a high moral ground in terms of the way they treat their employees and so on and so forth. So at face, at face value, there's there's a lot that isn't bad about um, a lot of tech companies. Um, now, if you do, if you get really into the weeds and really understand your company, there's there's a, there's a lot of tech companies um, that that aren't particularly uh, um, environmentally friendly. Think about all the power consumption that goes into data centers and things like that um, mm. think about think about the social consequences of some of the great tech products out there like social media for instance you can have a very spirited argument as to whether there's a benefit to society um, of, 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 of Facebook or, or, or not or, or or what have you there's big issues around um, data protection and, and what have you but putting that aside the trouble with in some of these products the very large exposure that you see to technology is that that's all well and good whilst technology is going up. Um, I remember the tech bubble back in 99 and 2000, turn of the century, um, felt very similar to today. Um, people then were, were valuing companies um, in terms of, um, you know, dollars per eyeball that the internet was allowing these companies to, 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 um, to, to access. Um, Old traditional metrics like PEs and and, and uh, um, uh, valuation multiples. Now we didn't need those anymore. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, fast forward a few years and it became relevant again. So, so the point I'm making here is that 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 there's some quite big factor exposure in in, in, in some of these funds because of the prevalence of of, of the high weightings uh, um, to to tech. So that's that's just something that I I, I personally would would sort of guard against um, uh, um, in, in in this context.